This is the OMP Hobby M2 direct drive helicopter. And when they say direct drive, what they mean is that the main rotors are direct drive. This motor drives, it's a brushless motor. Oh dear, I'm falling into the hole in the bench there. It's a direct drive, it's a brushless motor and it drives the main blades directly. There is no main gear. So what is going to break when you crash this guy? I don't know. Uh, the head links, possibly. The main blades. That's typically what breaks when you crash helicopters first. If you get a little bit of a blade strike, most often what breaks is the main gear, but there is no main gear on this. Well, I'm not going to do much with this guy today, I can tell you, because it's cold. It's a cold day and my fingers are already chilled. I've already done a couple of other things. I've got a little DSMX satellite plugged into this guy. He comes with a flight controller. He does not come inherently necessarily with a receiver. Um, there was some preliminary offer that you got a Futaba mini receiver included with it. And I had actually checked. I bought this from my OMP hobby in the States rather than from China. And they said, yes, they could provide me with a Futaba receiver. But then I didn't get it when they shipped it to me. Now, I did communicate with them and they were very nice about it. And they said, yes, they apologized. Uh, they had confirmed they were going to give me the, Fut uh, the Futaba receiver, the SFHSS receiver, mini receiver. So they said they would ship it to me as a missing part via the post. But I haven't got it yet. So he currently has a DSMX satellite in him. He has two plugs. That's, that is a, D a Lemon DSMX satellite underneath him. And I've got him programmed in my Jumper T16. I'm not going to do anything much with him today because, as I say, it's cold. I just want to spin him up and see if I can take him off and hover him. That's about it. I'm really not going to do anything else. And I was wondering whether even to bother to do that because it is darn cold. You get some, you get this beautiful box. <laughs> beautiful box. I should think the box must have added about 10% to the price because it's a really, really fancy box. And solid weighs it weighs a ton as well the box the box weighs as much as the helicopter <laughs> and you get some spare parts you get a couple of main shafts so i guess they think the main shaft's one of the things that's probably going to break and some uh, servo arms and skids uh he has a um, what is it a fiberglass not a plastic an actual fiberglass uh, canopy oh well we better plug the battery in i guess before we do anything else hadn't we My hands are cold. Right, left, back, forwards. Yes, his swash is moving in the right direction. And that's about all I know so far. I have not even, he's a bit large to try and hover indoors, so I haven't even tried to hover him. It's a little hard to get this canopy on. You've got to fit it over various wires and things and then back into the I thought we got it where we wanted it there, more or less, but, well, we did, more or less, but it's still a bit tricky to get the, I'm going to get the other grommet on there. It's an art in itself getting the canopies on these helicopters, isn't it? Okay, there he is, beautiful looking thing. Oh, my hands are cold, though. I do not want to do much with this because, as I say, my hands are frozing. Um... We got throttle hold on. Very solid um, carbon fiber tail boom. Um, I was going to say something else, but I've forgotten what. <sighs> Beautifully made looking helicopter. Very solid. Um, I'm a little concerned as to whether the swash is 100% level. I haven't done any leveling procedure for it. That's the way it came, and I'm a wee bit worried about that. <sighs> we are supposedly in stabilized mode. And I'm a bit nervous about this, as I say. I forgot to bring my pad as well, though he shouldn't need a pad, something this large, but... There's a lot of head speed there.
Oh, well, he's up. Made me nervous, but he's up and he looks pretty stable. I seem to be, I, I don't know, maybe it was just me imagining it. I seem to be getting a bit of a rock there. I was a bit afraid he was going to fall over to the right as I spun him up. He seemed to be moving to the right, but tiny bit of wind, not much. This is really all I wanted to do today is get him up and do a hover test. Whoa, he certainly tends to bounce up and down a little bit in this mode. Well, he does. That's not me. I'm not doing that on purpose. I'm trying to keep him at the same altitude. Maybe he'll settle down. And I don't know why he's making that funny sort of noise, going zzz, zzz. So what, what is that causing that noise? I do not know. It doesn't seem to me to be coordinated with any control input I'm giving. Could be some kind of wind, could be because of the compensation for the wind, because he's trying to compensate for the wind, because it is kind of windy. And he definitely seems to have a tendency to bounce up and down, rather. Now this is in normal mode, this is not in idle up mode, this is in normal stabilized mode. I just wanted to test his hover. I mean, I'm at least I'm impressed that he hovers stable. The, the swash didn't look quite 100% level to me when I, after he initialized himself. But, you know, maybe that's the way it's supposed to be because he certainly seems to be hovering. I mean, he's hovering, he's hovering leaning a hair to the right as a lot of helicopters do, but he's hovering very stably. So you can't complain about that. Well, for an initial hover test, that will do. Boring, I know, but I'm, I'm aiming for boring here. Big rotors spinning pretty fast. They would certainly, if you fell over, they'd certainly manage to whack something and cause a problem. Uh, as I say, they give you two spare main shafts with them, so I think they... They are quite, they're probably afraid the main, you know, they put the main shaft is probably one of the things that's going to tend to go. Uh, they don't give you any head parts, so you break that head, you're going to have to get its metal. You break that head, you're going to have to get head parts for him. Beautiful, beautiful looking helicopter. Um, and seems very, very good quality build. Um, but uh, anyway, at least that passes the initial test. That's all I wanted to do today. And I was a bit afraid it wasn't going to take off and hover right, as I say, because... <clears throat> yeah, see, that swash seems to me, if I look at that swash, that swash seems to me to be tilted slightly to the right. It doesn't seem to me, if I were leveling that swash, I would actually tilt it a bit to the left. But maybe it doesn't need it. The plane, seem, the, the, the aircraft seems to hover fine. The helicopter seems to hover fine. But as I say, you know, you look at those, those, uh, it looks to me as if that swash is tilted a little to the right. So I was a bit afraid it was going to fall over when I tried to take it off, but it didn't. Uh, you can get it in three colours. I decided to go for the blue, basically because I didn't have a blue helicopter of anything like this size. I already had a yellow, there's a yellow, the, choice, the other choices are yellow and red, but I already had yellow and red helicopters. Well, at least partially yellow and red of about this size, so I figured I'd go for the blue just for distinctiveness. Anyway, so there you go, a very short initial hover trial of the um, OMP uh, Hobby M2, and that again, I was flying that with my um, jumper T16 open source transmitter, although I could have flown it with the DX9 because it's got a, um, a DSMX receiver in at the moment. It's got a DSMX satellite in at the moment, but I was actually flying it with the, my, the Jumper T16, which is my new transmitter that I'm using to fly a lot of things currently. There you go. Initial, just a very initial quick look at the uh, OMP Hobby M2.